Hey, it's Chuck Lines, and I just realized I hadn't done a video on my screen clipping tool, which um, I, I find incredibly helpful. Um, and this is just going to be a demo of uh, how to use it. Um, with any luck, if you can download the script, it'll work fine. Um, so first off, I have it set up. If I, if I hold down a Windows key and drag, it, it'll capture the screen there, and it stays on top. So if I click another program, um, this is pretty helpful. Let me... Let me move over, let's see, first move over, um, one example of this, which dawned on me later, like, of why it's so useful, is, uh, if I'm in a, in something that's a long page, and I need to look at something at the top, and yet I want to scroll, and then, like, in Excel, of course, you can freeze panes, right? Um, let's go to data, no, I don't want to do that, um, resources, report, here we go, single mailing report. So let me navigate to this thing, and what I'll show you is here is is all we're doing is scro top scrolling down. Of course, it works for side to side as well. Uh, I just don't want to show um, individuals' data on this, but uh, this is aggregated data, so it doesn't really matter. So I'll pick something here. Hopefully, there's going to be a lot of these things. And notice here, the, here are these columns, right? Here's opens and clicks, and I want to scroll down, but then I forget what's at the top. Of course, just an example, right? Um, so, I can just do this, right? I can say, oh, you know what? I'm going to do this. And in effect, it locks that. And so now I can scroll down and have my header. Or, of course, I could have done the columns here and scrolled left. Well, there's no left to right in this case. Uh, but you get the idea. So that's the first example. The second one is if, um, if I'm going to... If I'm working on a, on a call with somebody and I'm trying to explain something to them, and I want to, I'm saying, you know what, I'm trying to explain it to him. I say, you know what, let me just email it to you. So I have it configured. If I hold down the Windows and Alt key, it's going to do is it's going to grab this and then watch this. Oh, it threw it on the other screen. Let me bring it over. It wrote an email. So it wrote this email saying, and, and it even puts in, it, it's, it's um, this is only going to work in Outlook. But it, uh, it, it puts in the time it was taken. It puts in both... I decided after, I was like, you know what, sometimes I want a bitmap, sometimes I want JPEG, depending on what I'm doing, but it puts in information around here, of course I can write some more and then send it. Um, you'll see here if I open this, this was the screenshot we just grabbed, um, so that is, you know, over in a, in a split second. The other cool thing is on the same one, let's say I was doing something here on Facebook, and I don't know, I don't even know what it is, um, but I wanted to share this. And I can go like this. Um, so I'm going to use the same one. Now I'm going to grab that. Now now watch it. Copy to here. It also saved this locally to the default folder where this is running. But here's the cool part with Facebook um, or with any program, right? Uh, uh, social media. Is I'm going to come here and I'm going to say status. I'm going to add a photo. And it's going to say upload photo. And I can just hit paste, right? Now this is the path to that file. So I don't have to navigate to it. I don't have to do anything. It automatically dumps it in there, and I can just hit post, right? So it's that fast to to grab something um, and and dump it into to Facebook to anything. Or of course, let's say let me do this again and say um, I was writing. I already had an email um, that I was working on, and let's go back to here. And let's say I didn't want to do it that way. I just want to come in here. So I can come here and copy. I can go back to my email. i got too many windows open, sorry. And I can paste, right? And so it would go in that way. It's not an attachment. It's just embedded into the email. Uh, but I use this script, I mean, dozens and dozens of times a day. And I just thought, like, it's one I always have running. A lot of my friends don't. And they think, oh, every once in a while I use it. But I, I like, can't function without it, especially if you're on a laptop. And frequently you'll have something where it's a long, um, a long document, or you're trying to do things between two different windows um, and two different programs. And let's say you had, you know, something from each one, and you're like, you know what? I'd like to be able to see this, and now I want to switch to the other thing. And you can very easily, you know, come over here now, and I can scroll and look at the two, and then say, okay, I'm done, and get rid of it. And it's that easy. Uh, thank you.